on? Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> we are still in March. Um, about the second week of March now. Um, this is uh, Ramsola Gardening, Athens, Georgia, uh, USA. Uh, this garden, the temperature is getting warm up now. Everything kind of happened so fast. At uh, this time of the year, uh, it, it's a beautiful time of the year because the temperature is good. And uh, a lot of plants beginning to come to light, as you see. And uh, before I go any further, my channel is uh, Ram Gibson channel. And again, I like to say everyone, I want to make sure that I'm saying everyone because this is, I think it's going to the fourth week of my uh, brand new channel. And uh, I have a lot of friends and family in Thailand that are watching. Um, I, I, I would say, สวัสดีนะครับคุณมากขอบคุณมากๆค่ะที่ติดตามแรมอ่าวันนี้แรมจะมาตัดอันนี้ให้อ่าอ่าว่าจะว่าจะตัดยังไงโอเคกอแบ
then this beginning to uh, sending out a new leaf. I'm not going to prune this because this is going to be the low foliage and going to be the low growth and it's going to be the new flower. And uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to eliminate the side. So what I'm going to do now is this is going out a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do, there we go. I'm going to do that. So this beginning, that beginning to come out, I think if, if it come out, it will be too, too far out. So I kind of took it out about my two, two foot. Then this is kind of what I want to keep for this year to refresh the look and to kind of kneel down a little bit. So what I'm doing now here, I'm going to do like this, like this. So now this kind of shape I want. So I'm going to cut it like this. So this one, I'm going to bring it down. And like I said, all we cut in the ankle and give a little bit of room in, in between. And then uh, for, uh, for this one, the kind of crossing I talked about before, the one that crossing, uh, I'm going to keep this because this is going to send the flowers. So because of that, I'm going to cut that. So I'm going to cut that. So now this one, I'm going to bring it down. You don't need a step ladder or anything like that. You just need to uh, bring it down and then kind of cut it like this. And then now you can see it beginning to take a shape. So now the one that like this, crossing like this, they both look really healthy. I don't want to cut any of these out, but I'm going to cut the one that come across like this. So the pruning is kind of similarly to what I've been showing to you. And then I'm going to cut it like this. Then this one kind of too much to what's happening in here. Uh, uh, I'm going to cut it like this. So now, there we go. This is a big bush. Uh, then to keep that shape, I will cut it like this. I will cut like this. Cut like this. <laughs> uh, you get the idea that I'm doing it. So uh, then this one, you're going to bring it down. This one kind of go that way. When it come out, going to be too much shady for the other one. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to cut it like this. So whoo, whoo, cut it like this. Then I'm going to clean it out like this. This one, I'm going to allow this to send out the new bird. So I'm going to cut it like that. And this one, I'm going to cut it mm, like this. So now these, now you see it beginning to take shape. Then this one going that way, when it come out, going to cause a lot of shade over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it here like that. So now when it come out, it's not going to go that way. It's going to be kind of right here. So that's what I've been talking about, how, how to deal with this. So now uh, this one come across to the bird bed. So again, kind of open, I'm going to cut it like this. So I'm going to cut it like this. And I go, I'm going to have to move a little bit. We're losing the light. And cut like this. So like this clean out the dead one as you go. So now you're beginning to see the oddball looking right here. So uh, I don't want that because it's too, too tall. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it here like this, like this. So now as you see beginning to tip chip. Okay, you got the idea. I'm going to move up real fast. I'm going to attempt to get this finished before they are uh, the light is on. So there we go. There we go. There we go. See the one that crossing, I'm going to cut it like this. And this one, I'm going to cut it like this. This one is crossing like this. I'm going to cut like this, cut like this, cut like this. So now it's taking shape. So this one kind of too tall, I'm going to cut it like this. So, uh, Go, go, go. I'm going to cut it. Yep.
Okay, now you see the shape. I'm gonna come here to deal with this. Cut it like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and uh, like that. So the cut is the same way I've been I I I've been teaching you. So uh, this one is crossing. This is what I've been talking about, the crossing. So uh, I don't want it to cross, but I want this to come because it, it, it to, to fill up this area right here, I'm gonna cut it like this, but I will cut this like this. So now they're no longer crossing, and uh, I don't want to come this too far, so I will cut it like this, like this, like this like this so like this and now shooting out I want a new one to come out when the bloom will be right about here this is a good bud right here so I'm not gonna cut it so I'm gonna cut it like this so uh, almost done so this one shooting out that far so my goal is to have some kind of like this so I don't want to cut it here if I cut it here be too low so I'm cutting here instead. There you go. So now it's beginning to take shape. I have a little bit of cleaning to do right here. I don't need to explain now because the explanation would be about the same. So I'm just gonna cut, 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 cut. Just gonna cut, cut, cut. Like this. Like this. Like this. I'm working against the time. So like this, like this. And now this one, I'm gonna kinda keep this shape right here. So I'm gonna cut it right here. So now I step always, always step back. Look at your work. I'm gonna say it again. Your garden is your garden. You cut to fit your environment. You take a look at how, how wide, how tall. It depends on your environment. That is your personal preference. But to cut, always, like I said, it between the bird. And also cut in slanted, like I always said. If you follow that, your plant gonna be healthy. So I'm um, look and then step back and look at what you've done. If you're happy with that, remember. Let me come over here. Remember gardening. I'm gonna cut this. Gardening is, gardening is not about perfect. I say that again over and over. Because we kind of lost thought sometimes, we thinking about something perfect. A gardening is not about something perfect. It's, it's about if you work with the mother nature, and that's what you do. You, let's say, if, if you have the God like a, what, what they call natural, they, they're going to be a free form and free style. And then because of that, you visual lie up with that. So I step back. And look at what I done. I see this kind of like a stick out a little bit. Then down here, I don't need to clean much. I, I might come back and take out the dead one just a little bit. But you, you see the idea because it's not too dense. The, bee, the leaf is really very big. When it comes out, it's going to be the covering a little bit, but it's not going to be so dense. But if your personal preference, you want it to go down and clean it up, open some more, and that is okay too. Uh, if I have a little bit more time, I would go down there and clean out a little bit, but it's not a whole lot. Okay, I step back and I look at it. I said, ooh, this kind of stick out. So therefore, and then I'm going to come back and then clean it up just a little bit like that. Because it's not about perfect. It's about... You do, and then you come back, and then you kind of adjust just a little bit and see 
see what it look like. And now, and this one kind of go that way, I will cut this like this. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty minor. I'm, I'm sorry, I had to move a little bit quicker at first. And because I want to get to this point so I can explain it. This one, I haven't done anything yet. So it's standing out a little bit too far. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it down and then cut it, cut it here. So, uh, and this one, look at what's happening here right now. That one kind of too far. So when you cut the first time, you can come back and look at it again and you can adjust it again. It's, it, it's not that big a deal. Here we go. Ugly pie ring here. <laughs> so now it looks a lot cleaner, the spade a lot more open. And uh, some crossing, and that's okay too, like I said, if it bother you, you go ahead and cut, cut it out. And uh, you see the peeling like that, it's normal for oak leaf hydrangea to peel off because then a new bark is coming out. And then if you have oak leaf hydrangea and some hydrangea, oh, um, how, how many minutes, Cody? 16. 16. Okay, good. Um, 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 do you have a good light? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to come back here. Okay, this is done for me. I, I, I like it because I visual when the new one come out, the bird come out, it's going to be... I see already in my mind. So, kind of visual that. You know, it helps see. Um, this. Uh, I'm going to go over here. This is the hydrangea, the one that like a like 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 a, like a little ball thing, the common hydrangea that you normally see. Everybody, I'm 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 gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over here. I'm pushing a little bit. Everybody said this type of hydrangea, it come in blue, in pink, and in white, and the Pacific genetics. You go online and look and learn about that, what specific dynamic, but for me, it's a high ranger, the one that like, like a little ball when they bloom, and it blue, pink, white. They come in many, many, many different high and low. Some of them, it named to represent somebody's name. But genetic, it's very similar. Sometimes they hybrid to be low grow, to be taller, to be different color. But it is a hard range of, okay? This kind. Said, if you cut it, it won't bloom. Now, I learned, I don't know what you learned, I don't know what they told you, but what I learned, I'm going to share with you. You can cut it. Now, how? You see this bird right here? See the bird? If you cut it here, yes, what happened? You cut it out, the one that can be sending the flower. It won't bloom because you are already cutting out what it stores to be bloom, to bloom. But if you cut it like this, you see this? You cut it like this. There you go. That going to be a flower. That going to be a flower. Now you're going to say, how about if we never done it before, how do we know? Well, I would suggest it, you know, wait until the time when you see the healthy bird coming out like this. You cut out the one that is not so healthy. But don't ever, ever cut it down here. And the new one begin to come out that won't bloom. Why? Because they're brand new. They had not stored ability to give you blossom this year. It's gonna have to wait until next year until it become this. Then we'll do that. But if you do it like this, like this, ah, like this, it will bloom this year. Check to see what's going on in your garden right now. If you have the hydrangea that look like this, but please, 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 
Don't cut it all the way down. Cut to the healthy bird like that. Like, like this. This one, I wouldn't even cut it because it already said, I already sent out a lot of energy up here to send the, to, to give to the blossom. But this one right here is not ready yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it like this. This one, I won't cut it. And I'm going to cut it like this. This one, I can either keep it here, have two flowers, or I leave it here, have one flower. I'm going to cut it like this. So this look like nothing going on here. Because it looks like it's it, it on its way to, to not provide anything. Because it's setting out the new bud here that said, I'm healthy, so this one's okay. I'm going to remove that and let this one become the dominant. And this one, it's kind of iffy because if you leave it, you not lose again, or maybe this one will not make it. And that is okay too. It's okay too. And this one, I can even do it here, like this. And this one, nothing going on too much yet. So, but I see the healthy one right here. I'm gonna cut it like this. Always remember to cut in angle. Right now, it's safe because it's in March. The temperature beginning to get warm. They said. The lie of the April 14 that is saved from frost every year in Aston, Georgia, in about any place, I don't know, but that's what we are. But more likely, if, if, if it gets cold, it's not going to be cold too long. And just cut in slanted, make sure that you give the room like that. So, so like I explained to you before. And okay, now I'm going to go real fast. I'm going to go real fast. And Cody's going to come back and clean it up. And then uh, whatever how you cut, it's the same strategy that I've been, I've been showing you. Same thing. Nothing different. Just keep it like that. Keep it like that. So now, keep it like that. Like this. This one, you can see the healthy one here. You can cut it here. This one, it kind of somewhat dictated by the healthy bird. Like I said, sometimes... It's gonna tell you the where is the healthy bird coming out. So this kind kind of telling you that sometimes you make decision based on that, and that's why I said pruning technique. It's cutting in the ankle like that. Hmm, this one I'm I'm gonna leave that. But all plant needs some adjustment and needs some adjustment. So so now you see all the healthy bird. All the healthy bird. This is gonna bloom. It's gonna bloom, I promise. <laughs> and uh, I promise what happened in my garden. But it happened in your garden, I don't know. <laughs> so um, um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, in, in this garden, I will take a picture of a deep bloom. This one bloom blue or, or pink, I don't remember. I have so many hydrangeas. Okay, well. Ah, uh, um, where am I? I'm kind of lost. Uh, we talk about pruning today. And uh, I share with you from what I learned for so many years, and I hope it worked for you. And uh, again, thank you very much. And uh, um, I, I, I will take a picture when it blooms and I will show it to you in this booth of oak leaf hydrangea above my waterfall and that's one is right above my waterfall. When you see it again, you will recognize. And then today, I will say thank you USA, Aston, Georgia, and uh, thank you for, for, for supporting me. And then for the friend in Thailand, I will say,